Hey, welcome to the channel where I show you how to put some prep in your step. Today, I just want to have a little discussion about data preparation and Tableau prep in general. Um, I've done only one other video like this. There's not going to be any hands-on with prep today. And, you know, hopefully you get some benefit from it. If either way, give me some feedback. Maybe this is something that we'll try again if it's something that you um, are able to learn from or get some benefit from. Um, but, you know, it, the new year is upon us, really, is, and that's why what kind of was driving this. I was wondering how to kick off the year, and I'm also a little late to this, but, you know, that's okay. Uh, but, you know, typically at the beginning of the year, people will do, um, maybe there's new resolutions or new challenges that they're taking on. You'll see maybe it's a reading challenge or a learning challenge. You, you know, you've got 100 days of code, or maybe you're going to do... Uh, you know, 30 new data business this year, or you're gonna complete the whole year of Makeover Mondays or, or Workout Wednesdays or all the prep and data challenges. Uh, late in the year, in 2021, I started doing 100 days of prep and data and I'm still working on the, the tail end of that. Um, but yeah, there's all these challenges that people take on and so, you know, why not start the new challenge of taking that step into the data preparation world if it's something that you're typically not, you know, not familiar with, or you don't work with day to day, um, you know, and maybe your role, you know, if you're involved with data and data visualization, maybe your role is one where the way your organization is structured, you don't necessarily have to be so hands-on in that data preparation process or, um, you know, using really many data preparation tools. Maybe you're handed curated data sources for the most part that you've got to do some minor manipulation to and that'll get you off and running to start your visualization. But, you know, if you're on the fence of taking that leap into data preparation, um, there's so many benefits to be had from it. You can really understand the data that you're working with, the structure of it, the fields, the values, uh, maybe some of the, the missing values that may be, be there, what's sort of the expected behavior with that. Um, and with Tableau Prep especially, the, the profile pane that's sort of your um, visualization of the metadata itself, right? That, that really allows you to get a, a feel for what your data is and maybe what to expect. Um, and, you know, if you've ever read The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, I've got to thank Nelson Davis for, for turning me on to that book. But... Uh, you know, the second habit in there is begin with the end in mind. And really any data visualization book that you will read, especially when it's talking about the process, you know, the design process or the process of choosing the right charts or how to really start your process there, they all tell you to spend time with your data. And the re it, there, there's good reasons for that because we all get so excited to just jump right in, build something that's beautifully designed, that's informative, that tells a story, and then drives action. That's the exciting part, that's the fun part that we all are just really rushing to get to. Uh, but the data preparation helps you begin with that end in mind because you've spent time with it, you've been cleaning it, structuring it, pulling in different data sources, and, and to do that, you have to understand all of those different sources as well. And so you get this final product of a very nicely structured data source that you, you've structured it that way because you know it's going to work for how you want it to work and you've spent time with these and maybe as you were kind of joining it to these different data sources you uh you know found issues missing values um you had to change value types but you've spent all of this time getting it to this finished product that it already kind of gives you this mental picture of what kind of analysis you can do with this set of data. What kind of questions can be answered with it? What kind of aggregation is gonna suit it well? And so you can really have that end goal, that end picture of what your visualization is going to, even if you don't have the, the you know, you're not imagining what the finished product is gonna look like, you've got a pretty good idea because you spent all that time with it. And so now you have that framework that's gonna guide your whole visualization process because of that process and that uh, that time you spent cleaning and preparing the data. And that's, you know, that could be said for, you know, Tableau Prep, of course, but all tricks, or even if you're doing it in SQL or Python or whatever you're using to clean and prepare your data, it's still gonna give you a better picture 
of what you've got and how best to visualize it. So, you know, it's just something to think about if you're, maybe if you haven't started that new challenge yet, um, ju jump right in to, to data preparation. It's awesome. I love it. I really got into it and started learning it out of a need. And I've really found that I enjoy it so much more than I thought I would. I thought I was just going on this learning journey just to learn a new tool and a new skill that I needed, but it's driving and changing the rest of my entire process. It's changing the way that I see data. It's changing the way that I solve data problems. Um, it's changing the way that I attack dashboards and visualizations. And it, overall, my whole process has become more effective because of it. And so, you know, there's all kinds of great resources out there. But of course, prep and data is a great way to go. Um, there's so many different use cases and uh, data structures, problems. And especially if you start like I did, starting with the first challenges back from 2019 and kind of working your way through, it's perfect to, you know, go from that beginner mindset and level and work your way up through more advanced challenges, more different problems, different ways to think through these things. And some of them are pretty hard. Um, some of them, when I get through them, I have no idea how they even, the, the, the prep and data team even, you know, thought of these scenarios or worked through the solutions to get there. Um, so even if it's something that you can't, you really are struggling with and you can't figure out how to get, work through the steps and get to that end result, just taking a look at these solutions and understanding um, how they're getting from point A to point B um, and you can use those solutions in your future processes. So, you know, I highly encourage anyone who's, you know, a little, maybe you haven't used Tableau prep before, or there's some whispers that you're going to have to start using it. Uh, you know, prep and data is an awesome way to uh, make that jump into it and really get to see the full power of what Tableau prep can do. You know, some of these one click challenge or click only challenges where you're not using any calculate or typed in calculated fields. You're only using what you can do by clicking uh, the built-in functionality. It's really a, a awesome highlight of this, this amazing tool that the Tableau prep engineers have built. It's, it's amazing. And so, um, but there's, you'll also see a lot of other people using prep and data for all tricks upscaling or for Python upskilling or for R, um, because at the end of the day, it's just problems with messy data that we need to clean to get to this, this end goal and this end solution. And so, you know, really, if you just spend some time with the data, like I said, I know all of the books say it and we read it and we read it over and over again and we're like, okay, yeah, I'll spend a little bit more time with our data, but then we get focused on the visualization piece because that's why we're reading these books or that's why we're learning so we can have better visualizations. Um, but are your, are your visualizations effective? And when you build something out, can you really speak to the data at the end of the day? Maybe you've built this beautiful chart or beautiful infographic dashboard, um, and you know that your calculations are correct and things look how they should look. But if somebody were to really ask you, explain why the, the numbers look like this or to explain why this is the, the breakout. If you haven't really spent your time with that row level data, structuring it and organizing it, or even just kind of um, you know, profiling the data, can you really explain those things? And that's what this, the, the data preparation process and learning more effective ways to do it, that's what it really drives. It drives um, the way that you think about the data and the way that you're able to, when you create something, create a visualization, you're able to really speak to it and you understand or and are confident that, you know, not only did we take, you know, best practice in mind and design choices, good chart types, um, but that you can confidently speak to the accuracy of it and, and why uh, the data looks the way it looks. So, you know, just something to think about. Um, like I said, just a general thoughts on my mind today. Uh, if you found it helpful, or, you know, let me know. If you didn't find it helpful, also let me know. That way I can kind of know 
what to, to bring y'all in the future. So other than that, uh, hope to see you in the next one.